Hello YouTube, welcome to another Let's Talk, and today I will be talking to you about, this is part two to my second favorite bands of all time, or artist of all time, music wise. So I'm going to start off with, uh, once again, this is my personal favorite, you don't have to like it, and that definitely means you don't have to comment bad if you don't like it either, you know? This is my opinion only, and if you agree, that's great. Uh, some of these bands you're going to have heard about, but others you probably haven't heard of, heard of, or, you know, okay. Uh, so let's start off with Ratatat, a uh, pretty known instrumental band, and I've, I've been really uh, enjoying their uh, music throughout the years, and they haven't quite really disappointed me that much. They are excellent, and uh, they're excellent at what they do, and they're, in, uh, they're all instrumental. Uh, sometimes they have those vocals, and they have a nice tech-type tech beat, uh, you know, it's really industrial and stuff. Uh, next is Stars. Stars is another epic band that, you know, they shine like stars. Okay, that's super cheesy. Uh, so they, um, I, I'd definitely describe them as probably metric, closest to metric, and they sound excellent. They're rock, uh, indie type, and once again, their music is perfect. They mix a perfect blend between perfect vocals, sound, uh, it, it's just, it's, it's ear, it's just completely eye, eye, uh, ear candy, if that, that sounds disgusting. Uh, next, Lily Allen. Great vocalist, great songs, all her beats are catchy, whether her songs are good or bad, they're always catchy, the beats, and that really is, is a plus up, and there are rarely any songs of hers that are bad. Uh, unfortunately, I think she's retired, but hopefully that's not true. Uh, she's a great singer, and she's made two or three albums, and all of them have been great. Uh, all Right Still, uh, It's Not Me, It's You, I believe one of the albums, albums are called. It is just amazing. I love it. I love it a lot. Uh, next, Coldplay. Coldplay, definitely you should have heard of them. Uh, I don't like to be too mainstream, but I'm such a fan of Coldplay. Their songs are excellent. They mix perfect beat from album one all the way to the new, the new uh, Milo Exolato, or what, how, however you pronounce it, uh, to then. Epic. Uh, I've loved their songs throughout the years, and they ne they fail to disappoint me. Next is Eminem. Eminem, probably one of the greatest rappers of all time. Beats are catchy, and genius lyrics. Very clever, very genius. And it's just, it tells a story, and it's very, it really brightens up your day. It's nice to listen to, even the depressing songs. It's just something nice to listen to. Something different. A, lo a, real, a real hardcore rapper that really really sets the tune and, and mood of, of just what the business industry is, or what it should have been. Uh, next, Lupe Fiasco. I have to say that about him as well. And his, his album is very catchy and very high quality and very, um, very nice to hear. And uh, You don't hear too many rappers like that anymore. And, and you know, it's really down to earth, like if I were to call it uh, anything. It's really, it tells a story, and, and you basically go through his life. Uh, so next, uh, Gorillas. Now, I, I, as much as I'd like to call them one of my favorites, I did put them in there for a filler uh, because they're not exactly my very one of my favorites. But I really like a lot of their songs, and you know, I really give them a lot of credit for what they do because catchy and. You know, I, I really actually like a lot of their stuff. Um, next, Flowbots. Flowbots are epic. They tell a story, they tell the truth, and they tell it the way it is. A perfect mix of nice uh, sonatas, uh, nice violinists, guitarists, drummers, trumpeters, uh, trumpeteers, whatever. They are epic. They blend all these different instruments perfectly together while, a ra or while rapping also. A band, this band pulls it off, and it's just beautiful music. Beautiful. What a masterpiece. Definitely. Bittersweet. Now, she's more... Uh, Bittersweet, I think it's a band or a solo artist, but um, she is a great singer, and all her music is more like the old type, uh, but I, I like how it sounds. Very catchy. Like, she adds a modern modern tune to some of these, like, Frank Sinatra. Sinatra tried type uh, instrumentals and stuff. She adds a little nice techno beat to it and really does change it up a bit. Um, Kid Cudi. 
another great rapper, and it, it his album is, is 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 dark. I really like that about it. it. It's dark, it's cool, it's nice. It really is something different, and you know, it's just I don't know. His his voice is a, a bit of uh, a, a bit addicting. You know, you like to keep listening to him, even if it's not rhyming. You know, it's it's pretty awesome. Next, Broken Bells. Broken Bells are pretty epic. Also, they they're also an indie band, and you might have heard of them. They, I think they were on the front of iTunes, uh, I think a long time ago. And they're just, uh, listen to the High Road. Another hit song, I love that song. It, it really brings a little mellow feel to it. A little mellow type rock, uh, indie type, with, with a perfect mix between techno and OK Go type things. Next, The Killers. Perfect example of a perfect rock band. They are awesome. Uh, their beats are catchy. They t they sometimes tell a story, and Mr. Brightside could be one of them. It, it's just a, a delight to listen to such good bands. Next, the Ting Tings. Now, I think it's a duets, maybe a duet. Uh, I think, uh, but you know, the Ting Tings are pretty awesome. They really actually do capture your heart from the first album to the last. They really make that big a big moment and I loved uh, their beginning album Th that was just epic and you know it really captured you know all this great feel of it honestly it, w it was pretty awesome next is um the uh, why it's it's why and you know why is basically a band that that you know it, it's why X uh, why uh, question mark is the band name and it is they are awesome i they are very unique i challenge you to find a sign that uh, find a band like them because you can't they're so unique in the way they sing the way they put all their tunes together as well tell a story and it's another type of indie rock band but it is awesome very unique i, I can't even describe how unique it is it just really captures your attention its uniqueness and its diversity but uh you know toward you know getting away from these big uh mainstream bands and such you know uh next is uh ellie golding um you know ellie golding is a very she's very good at techno and her instrumentals are pretty epic and you know she's probably popular her new uh her album was good uh, it's now becoming a little more mainstream with a song called lights uh, I've actually kind of done the opposite, as other people have heard of it and are liking it. Now I'm kind of getting tired of that, and you know, liking kind of her other songs, and hoping she comes out with a new, better album. You know, uh, my brother Brian, uh, aka Cheesy Muffin, doesn't like them at all. It doesn't like her at all. But you know, uh, what can I say? He's, she's pretty good. Uh, next, uh, Metro Station. Uh, Metro Station is is a another epic rock band that mixes techno and rock slash indie together it, it, it's really really good uh, i mean s some of their songs are, uh, i'm not exactly a fan of but i i truly believe when they do hit that perfect mark it is totally worth it i mean really next uh, last but not least rust chimes now uh rust chimes is a solo techno artist and you know he is epic he doesn't get much recognition but I definitely love all, all his songs all of them and uh, I saw I got a song recently it was a uh, uh, 58 minutes long it was from him and I never thought somebody could pull it off from but but be, from beginning to end it was good and, and I, I actually I challenge you to find one of the songs of his that are bad I mean really they're all his songs are epic. I can't. I can't. I yeah, my my uh, Brian uh, cheesy muffin thinks they're he's he's really annoying, but I truly think they're really catchy and really epic. And you know, I also challenge cheesy muffin, my brother, to find some a uh, person or a comment that's hating on Rust Chimes, because I don't think you could hate on such a good solo artist, honestly. Alright, this has been a Let's Talk. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to request another Let's Talk, please comment or PM me. Please grab a comment. Bye-bye.